Hello, this is Joe Neville and welcome to yet another network automation playlist. In this video, I'm going to show you a demo that interacts with the REST API of Aruba OS 8 and Aruba OS Switch to deploy a new SSID and a new layer three network and then post a message about that change to Slack. Let's jump over to PowerPoint then and I will show you my setup. It's Mobility Master 8.4. I've got an Aruba controller, it's a 7005, ClearPass 6.8 and I'm running Windows Server 2019, uh, Domain Controller, also Certificate Authority and I'm running DHCP and DNS on there. My gateway is an Aruba OS switch, it's a 2930F. I've got a couple of APs in the Aruba 200 series, a 205 and a 215. As I mentioned, I'm gonna deploy the SSID in the VLAN via the API, so no GUI, no CLI. I'm going to be running Python code on my laptop which sends HTTPS requests, so uh, get and post requests to Mobility Master to deploy a WPA2 Enterprise SSID, a new VLAN. Uh, it's going to pick a ClearPass server, deploy all of that, and then the next stage of the workflow is to interact with the switch via its API to check whether the VLAN that we want is configured. If it isn't, then we configure the VLAN and the layer three interface for it and some other configuration like uh, DHCP helper address and v6 on here as well of course um so up on the windows server i have configured a couple of scopes for dhcp v4 so if we use the vlan and that hits an ip address that hits that uh, dhcp scope then clients can get v4 addresses now with v6 we can run slack so stateless address auto configuration which is a plus point for v6 so we don't have to rely upon the dhcp scopes being pre-configured we can configure a new layer 3 interface on our switch and then clients can pick up the v6 addresses using that which is a nice benefit of v6 then finally we have our new ssid which we can connect to our new layer 3 network and our code will send a deploy message off to a slack channel using a slack bot okay that's the setup let's jump over and show you the switch then if I show you what's configured, if you know, so I've got a few VLANs on there. We're going to use VLAN 80. So as you can see, VLAN 80 is not configured on the switch. Let's have a look at the SSIDs that are available then. So we've got a few on there, five available at the moment. If I jump over to, so I've got ClearPass running. And if we log into my Mobility Master, you can see that I've got a single controller and I've got a couple of access points. Now, if I look at the configuration here, you can see WLAN, so we don't have any at the moment. We haven't got any live um, off of this mobility master. And then another aspect is my Slack channel. So here's my Slack channel, which I've just set up for bot testing, which I've logged into, okay? And so let's jump over to the code. Here I am on Visual Studio Code. Now, as you might expect using multiple APIs and data sources, there's a lot of code to this. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be running through every part of the code. I'm just gonna show you the demo and then in subsequent videos, I'll show you how I built this, um, working through the modular parts. Essentially, we interact with the device using our Python code, which I've set up in the core folder here and I've got code specific for AOS 8 and for the switch to interact with it. I've also got data handlers to bring different data in, but really how we activate the code is via the workflow.py and how we feed the data in is via a YAML file. So this could be a nice front end, which I will start to work on um, for the future, but at the moment, what we are doing is we just type the SSID of the WLAN that we want and the VLAN ID here. Let's have a new SSID. So super gardening meetup, and we'll put them on VLAN 80. 
Okay, so to run, we go over to workflow. This is the actual script that will run and call the different aspects of the Python project. If I right click here to run that, and then that this will deploy the SSID. That's all I need to do. So I run that. Off we go, we get some login messages. These are the ones I've chosen to print to screen. Everything looks okay. And if we log in over here, sometimes the Mac takes a while to pick up the SSID, but um, if we turn that off, turn it back on to bounce it, I should, there we are, Super Gardening Meetup. So if we connect to that, I'm using PEEP here, so it, like I said, it's WPA2 Enterprise. I'm using PEEP for that, so that is a, one of my domain users that I've logged in as. And if I now, let's go over, if I do an IF config for my wireless, you can see, so I've got a V4 address, so 192.168.80.100, that's coming from DHCP, and then I also have in my slash 64 for my V6, I've also got a couple of addresses there. Okay, so we should be able to jump over to the switch, and I'll show you the config on that. So there we go, right, show VLAN. Da -da. So VLAN has been configured via the API. If we jump over to Mobility Master, I think I'm going to have to get back onto the other SSID for this though. Um, let's refresh this. There we go, we're back. So the WLAN has been deployed, Super Gardening Meetup, a WPA2 Enterprise. Let's have a look at that a bit more. We have got uh, VLAN 80 and then security, the EC WPA2, and that's the ClearPass server then. Okay, oh, finally, the Slack channel. So for members of my Slack channel that were logged in, they will see this. Once the WLAN is deployed, it sends via the API to hit in the Slack bot, hello, a new WLAN has been auto-deployed, SSID, super gardening meetup. So that's a variable, that's not hard-coded. That's what I've added into YAML and I pass through the code to be able to deploy deployed actually on Slack as well in VLAN 80. There we are, excellent. So I'll show you another one. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code, change that, uh, what should we call it? Let's call this one Extreme Knitting Super Conf uh, 2020. Okay, and we'll give it a different ID and this one I won't have a V4 scope configured for DHCP. So let's go for uh, 91, I don't have configured up there. Uh, and if we go, I just up arrow that and run it again. Off we go and check. So Extreme Knitting Super Conf. Can log into there. Now I'm in. Let's look at that interface. There we see. So we don't have a V4 address, but we do have a V6 address via Slack. We didn't have to worry about uh, DHCP scopes. I'm back on Mobility Master, you can see my two SSIDs. If we look at the Knitting Super Conf, we have got VLAN 91. One and WPA2 Enterprise, excellent. That was a demo across multiple APIs then. AOS 8, a Rubro OS switch, and a third party API, the Slack API. And I hope from that you can see the power of using code, automation, and API so I could take the variable in one place with the YAML file and use that to populate across, to create the SSID, to create a VLAN, not just on Aruba OS 8, but also on Switch, and take that same variable and use that in a call out to the Slack channel to create a message for users about the new deployment. As I mentioned, this video was just about showing the demo. In the next video, I will start to break that down into the different modular parts and show you how I built the demo. So I think that will build into a nice tutorial for getting your hands dirty with Python.
If you like the video, please do give us a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. It does make a massive difference to us if you do and helping the channel. Until the next video, my name is Joe Neville. Thanks for watching and goodbye.